Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone. Hopefully you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And in this video, we're doing some experimenting here. We're gonna see how much it costs to fill up a 2024 Mustang GT. So if you guys are wondering how much it's gonna burn the pockets at the gas tank, I got you covered, man. Now this car is gonna be on 93 octane. I'm filling it up on premium gas. We're not gonna do 87, 89, 93 octane. So we have the full 480 horsepower at our disposal. Obviously, I know it doesn't make that to the wheels, but advertise, you know, crank horsepower with 93 octane. That's how much it's gonna cost. And I'm gonna let you know how much uh, it's gonna cost every single fill up. I gotta wash this car as well. I don't got time to do it today, but tomorrow, you guys can see it's got some like, I don't know what this is. Like, I guess some like tree residue. It's not sap. Actually, it might be sap, but it's coming off from where my car was parked yesterday after um, the exhaust was done. So I'm gonna get that off ASAP so it doesn't ruin the paint. Oh, that'd be a bitch. But it looks like it's coming off pretty easy. So take that through a touch list. It should be all good to go. First cold start with the new exhaust. Um, three, two, one. to the gas station oh shit we gonna head over to the gas station and uh, see how much it's gonna cost like I said we are at 3040e this is about where I believe everybody should be going to get gas honestly before it gets to this point but we're gonna get gas right now um, you don't really want to run the tank down all the way because it could burn it up and since that is a new car we are not not taking that chance all right we're on the road whoa a little road hazard right here this car still sounds good in the normal mode with the H pipe. Obviously, the H pipe still gotta be broken in, broken in to get the full sound, but so far I think it sounds really good. Damn, bro, the sun is literally right in my eyes right now. There we go. Oh, man.
my god, we got a backfire. Sounding amazing. Honestly, I might go try to get the car washed today. Uh, Twenty sixty E. Make your guesses right now down in the comment section how much you think it's gonna cost to fill this up from twenty sixty E. Now this is, like I said, roughly where you should be filling up your gas. I think it's gonna be like seventy dollars with ninety three. Honestly, I think it's gonna be seventy bucks with ninety three to fill this tank up. But we're gonna go ahead and find out right now. All right, gas is three eighty nine where I'm at.
Here we go. Almost picked up the E85 pump. <laughs> Imagine if I would have pumped full E85 in this car, how bad that would have been. Oh man. This gas station packed as hell right now though. Yeah, I gotta get that stuff off the car. Okay, 16 bucks, 17. It's gonna go to seven. It's gonna go to 70. About 480. 480. 480? Yeah. That does not stop. Yeah. I can't feel my These are the these are nice. I'm telling you, they're nice. They are? Yeah. Damn, 54 even. All right, so 54 bucks to fill up the car on 93. I know I live in Texas, gas prices aren't too crazy, but that's actually not bad. That's about 20 bucks short that I thought it was gonna originally cost, even though the car had like 29 or something miles left. Still, $54, the full tank of 93 octane, not bad whatsoever. All right, let's get out of here. I actually don't have any like cleaning rags, which is kind of sketch because normally I always stay, uh, stay strapped with the rags, but I need to go hit up a, uh, a hardware store real quick. Well, not really a hardware store, but store of that nature that has what I'm looking for. They don't have them at uh at Target, which is kind of irritating because Walmart always had them. I need to start going back to Walmart because Walmart kind of got a better selection. My first, at least the ones out here versus Target. I feel like at least for the stuff that I need. can't complain because I didn't have turn signals in the white two valve and the black two valve had trouble with that as well but if you guys are wondering currently the way I'm driving the car right now I'm getting 16.7 mpgs and it costs roughly 54 bucks to fill up so if you guys are wondering the cost to own one of these, every fill up is gonna be about 64, or not 64, about 54 dollars, depending on how much you drain the tank. And if you drive regularly, you're gonna be getting about 16.7 MPGs. That is on 93 octane. Now, on my Shelby GT350, I'm getting like 13 MPGs. <laughs> so it's not really, not really terrible realistically. Well, actually, when you think about it this way, the Shelby GT350 has long tube headers, a tune, and it's on E85, getting 13 mile per gallon. This is 100% stock, minus a resonator delete H pipe. So pretty much stock, no tune, nothing on 93 getting 16.7. I don't, is that good? 
I don't know. I feel like that could be considered bad. But it is a Mustang, so I mean, they're not really known for a mile per gallon. I don't really care. I'm just kind of putting two and two together. I mean, technically it's better because I don't go to the pump nearly as much in this car. But I mean, 13 versus 16.7. Is it really that much of a difference? Ah. Y'all let me know, man. <laughs> I mean, it, I'm daily driving this, for real. Like, I've had it for about a week and I've already put almost 500 miles on it. And I've been kinda, you know, taking it long-ish journeys deliberately. We'll see. We shall see. Why is this light so long, man? One eternity later. All right, so I'm gonna touch this right now. Just gonna get that tree sap off the car as quickly as possible. I don't even know what it is, but this touch this is pretty legit. I mean, it works for the most part. It gets most of the shit off the car that I need to get off the car that, you know, I don't really wanna do myself, so. These time wisers are pretty legit. Actually, I think I'm about to have enough points to get a free wash, so that's a dub. All right, so touchless did its thing. The little ghetto wipe down. You probably can't see a thing though, but uh, man, you can kind of tell that it's not black in this lighting. That it's like a dark matter gray. But I'm gonna get this car ceramic coated, all that stuff very, very soon. But yeah, Whew. I'll catch up with you guys when I get back to the crib. All right, back at the Casa. And now you guys know how much it costs to own a 2024 Mustang GT. Remember, let me know down in the comment section how much gas is where you're at and how much it costs to fill up your Mustang or whatever car you guys are driving. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free, drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next upload. The weather has been crazy recently. We had some flooding today. Luckily, I was not affected, but we're gonna be staying safe. And if it's raining crazy, obviously, I'm not gonna go out just to record a video. So stay safe, y'all, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.